This is the full indictment for Lilani Simon. It says, in the name and on behalf of the citizens of the state of Georgia, charge and accuse Leilani Simon with the offense of malice murder. For that, the said Lilani Marie Simon in the county of Chatham in the state of Georgia on or about the 5th day of October 2022 did unlawfully with malice aforethought cause the death of her son, Quentin Simon, a human being in a manner unknown to the grand jury at this time. The jurors aforesaid in the name of and on behalf of the citizens of this state further charge and accuse Lalani Marie Simon with the offense of felony murder for the said Lalani Marie Simon in the county of Chatham, state of Georgia, on or about the fifth day of October 2022, did commit the offense of aggra aggravated assault and violation of OCGA 16521, a felony in that the accused did make an assault upon the person of her son, Quentin Simon, with an object that when used offensively against the person did result in serious bodily injury. The nature of this object being unknown to the grand jury at this time, and the accused did, in the commission of this offense, cause Quentin's death. The offense of felony murder, Lalani Marie Simon, on or about the 5th day of October 2022, cruelty to a child in the first degree. She did maliciously cause her son, Quentin Simon, a human being and a child under the age of 18, cruel and excessive physical pain in a manner unknown to the grand jury at this time. Concealing the death of another, Lalani Marie Simon, on or about the 5th day of October, did unlawfully conceal the death of her son, Quentin Simon, by discarding him in a dumpster at Azalea Mobile Home Plaza, which hindered the discovery of whether Quentin was unlawfully killed, contrary to the laws of the state of Georgia. False report of a crime. Lilani Marie Simon with the offense of false reporting to a crime. She did willfully and knowingly give a false report of a crime to the Chatham County Police Department, a law enforcement agency, by implying that Quentin Simon had been abducted by an unknown intruder, making a false statement. She did knowingly and willfully make false statements to the Marion Lemons of the County Police and Bradford Schneider of the FBI, law enforcement officers engaged in the lawful discharge of their official duties investigating the disappearance of Quinton, a matter within the jurisdiction of the Chatham County Police Department, Department of the Government of this county, to investigate by having admitted that she had left home late in the night hours of October 4th to meet her drug dealer, falsely stating that the purpose of this meeting was to pay an existing drug, drug debt contrary to the laws of the state of Georgia. Making a false statement. She did knowingly and willfully make a false statement to Mary Lemons of the County of Chatham and Bradford Snyder of the FBI by, these are both law enforcement officers engaged in the lawful discharge of their official duties. The false statement was falsely stating that the only controlled substances of which she regularly used was marijuana, contrary to the laws of Georgia. So she lied about which drug she was taking. Another false statement that she made to the same officers was falsely stating the only controlled substance she used in the past 24 hours had been marijuana. Number nine, making another false statement. It says here, Having admitted that she left her home in the early morning hours, October 5th, 2022, falsely stating the purpose of the trip was to meet her friend Misty to obtain Orogel, a topical pain reliever from Misty, and that on this trip, the accused had in fact met Misty at a Chevron service gas station and obtained Orogel from her, contrary to the laws of the good order and peace of dignity. So apparently she had told the police that the reason that she was 
out and about is because she needed to go get Origel from her friend Misty. Another false statement. She did knowingly and willfully conceal from Marion Lemons of Chatham County Police and Bradford Snyder of the FBI. The, let's see, a matter. A material fact to wit that in the early morning hours of October 5th, she had in fact traveled to Azalea Mobile Home Plaza and there had discarded her son Quentin Simon in a dumpster contrary to the laws in state of Georgia. Goodness. Falsehoods on October 8th. Lalani Simon, on or about October 8th, did knowingly and willfully make false statements to Bridget Brock of the FBI, a law enforcement officer engaged in the discharge of her official duties while investigating the disappearance of Quinton by having admitted that she had left her home to meet the drug dealer in the late hours of October 4th, falsely stating that the purpose of this meeting was to pay an existing drug debt. Another false statement was to, it was on the 8th, uh, again, to Bridget Brock of the FBI, that on the night of October 4th, she had used controlled substances, Another false statement, 8th day of October, knowingly and willfully making a false statement to Bridget Brock of the FBI regarding the disappearance of Quentin Simon. She admitted she had left her home in the early morning hours of October 5th and had traveled to the Azalea Mobile Home Park, falsely stating the purpose of the trip again was to meet her friend Misty to obtain Orgel. making a false statement. Another on the 8th of October, uh, and this time again to Bridget, and the reason the false statement was that in the early morning hours of October 5th at the Azalea Mobile Home Plaza, she had discarded her son Quentin in a dumpster. Making a false statement on October 12th, she made this statement on October 12th, to Savannah Solomon and Bradford Schneider, again saying she was going to meet Misty at the Azalea Home Mobile Home Plaza for the Orgel on the 12th. Again, she made these false statements to Bridget and Savannah Solomon, and this time she said that admitted she discarded something in the dumpster at Azalea Mobile Home in the early hours of October 5th, falsely stating that all she had discarded was normal household garbage. <laughs> Count 17, making a false statement. On the 12th, she did willfully conceal from Bradford Schneider and Savannah Solomon of the FBI that in the early morning hours of October 5th, at the Azalea Mobile Home Plaza, she had discarded her son Quentin in the dumpster. October 31st, knowingly and willfully made a false statement to Marion Lemons of the county of the Chatham County Police Department and Savannah Solomon and Bradford Schneider of the FBI by falsely stating that it was not the accused, but rather Daniel Youngkin, who had traveled away from the home in the early mornings of October 5th, instead of herself, she blamed Daniel. And then the last one making a false statement on November 21st. She made these statements to Marion Lemons of the Chatham County Police Department, Savannah Solomon of the FBI, admitted that she not Daniel, had left the home in the early morning hours of October 5th, traveled to Azalea Mobile Home Plaza, and having admitted that she had no contact there with her friend Misty, falsely stating she did not remember what she had said or done there, and this is contrary to the laws of Georgia. So she has been indicted on 19 different charges. Um, the offense, malice murder, felony murder, 
concealing the death of another, false report of a crime, and making a false statement, 14 counts of making false statements.